Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I'd like to uh, talk about positioning sketches. Positioning sketches in NX is really quite nice, the way they have it set up. When you select the sketcher and you select a plane on which to sketch, by default it's on a plane, you can select a top plane, a right plane, a front plane, or you can select one of these uh, planes here. And right away, you get this word that shows up that says sketch. You also get a vector, this vector here. And this vector will end up pointing at your nose. So you've got to be cognizant of that. Then there's the horizontal reference that you can think about. And the horizontal reference, when you click on horizontal reference and you tell NX that you're going to be selecting a horizontal reference, you could then select one of the axes and force the sketch to be um, have all the 90 degree positions that are associated with those vectors. So this yellow vector here is for which side of the sketch you're going to be sketching upon. And then this horizontal vector is the thing that shows an X which way, to, which way is pointing to the right. Now, when I say that, what I mean to say is every time you create a sketch, it creates its own coordinate system, if you will. And that coordinate system, you might want to point in a certain way. And so that's why you use a combination of selecting on planes or faces and then um, choosing the horizontal reference if you need one. So now that I've created this sketch, um, I could then put on some piece of geometry like this. And I can know that that geometry is going to be oriented horizontally with the x-axis um, that I chose as I was creating the sketch. Okay. Now, if I take this sketch and extrude it, well, that's a really large extrude. Let's do 10. Okay. And then let's say I put a chamfer on this face here. Let's say okay. Then when I sketch on this plane, and X is going to automatically assume that there's some sort of horizontal reference. And as soon as I select on the plane, it's going to probably match the horizontal reference up with this edge. So uh, to demonstrate, I'll go to the sketch. I'll select that plane. And you can see it's smart enough to um, select either the top edge or the bottom edge, because that's the thing that's closest to the horizontal direction of the sketch. So now, uh, earlier I said each sketch has its own sort of coordinate system. And now you can really kind of see what I'm talking about. We have the uh, global coordinate system with X to the right and Y straight up and Z coming out of the page. And then we have this new coordinate system that is located on this plane and will allow us to position things accordingly. When I say OK, the whole thing will rotate and come to my view that way. So I'll say OK. There you go. And now I'm ready to sketch whatever I'm sketching like that. Let's do profile tool. And let's say like this, like this. Like this, that, 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 that. There we go. And so there's the contour that I'm going to use for this. I'm going to do a little trimming. Trim this, trim this, trim this, trim this. Well, trim out all the circle. I don't need that anymore. OK. And that is how to sketch on a solid face. As soon as you get out of the sketcher, it returns you to another view. And now having done that, you can extrude that little bit let's say 0.125 inches. You can unite it on. Okay, but there's more. Um, I want to show you that when you do an extrude and you have, let's say, single curve on and you select the face that you want to extrude, there's no opportunity for you to select a horizontal reference. If you want to select a horizontal reference, you've got to go back and do a reattach which you can reattach the sketch 
um, my screen is kind of foreshortened, so I'm going to say menu insert, oh, I'm sorry, menu edit, um, go to edit parameters, and let's find the reattach. Here it is, reattach. Click on that little arrow, reattach. And there's the reattach icon, and reattach says, oh, select a horizontal reference. So if I say specify a vector, and I select this edge here, as you can see, I can rotate that perfectly. So that is an important thing to know about extruding. When you're extruding, it doesn't give you the opportunity to just select a horizontal reference. And so you'll have to reattach later if you really care which way your sketch is pointing. Okay. Then there is the positioning of sketches on a uh, edge or a curve. So for example, I'm going to throw a little sketch on this face again, and I'm going to put in a curve that goes from there to there, like that. And what I want to do is sketch relative to this curve now. So when I go to the sketcher, there's a choice that you can make up at the top that's on path. And when you're selecting on path, what you do is you select a path. And then you can orient these coordinate systems the way you might want. So for example, I'm going to double click on Z, which means I'll be looking into the curve this way. I'm going to take that sketch rather, that sketch all the way to the front of this piece of geometry. And then I'll select a horizontal reference. Let's go over here and it'll give me the, the reference that's closest to that horizontal direction. And when I say OK, it, it'll have me looking down that curve like that, where I can then make some contour like that, finish. And now, <clears throat> having built those pieces of geometry, I could go into surface, sweep along a guide, sweep along a guide. Where is it? It's under here. Sweep along a guide. It's one of my favorites. You select the section, you select the, the guide curve, and uh, let's unite this. So there, positioning sketches. You can position them on solid faces. You can position them on datum planes. In many cases, what I do is I'll create a datum plane offset from a datum plane like this, and I'll say OK, and then I'll take that datum plane and I will use a datum axis. I'll create a datum axis by selecting the top face of this block and the uh, datum plane that I just made. So I've got this axis now. And now when I sketch on that datum plane, I select the datum plane, that datum plane, and then I'll go to select horizontal reference and select that datum axis so it's perfect every time. And now I can sketch again like that. Whatever, whatever it is that I need, I can position it with NX. Okay? That is what you need to know about positioning sketches. Um, there's actually more to it, um, but that's a nice little piece that you can walk away with right now. And uh, please, um, uh, if you uh, appreciate these videos, please uh, give us a like, uh, tell your friends, uh, subscribe, and all of that. And uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you online.